welcome to another series of design with pam today i'm going to show you how i created this splash screen for a financial company and i also created this logo right in figma all right so let's get right into it the first thing we're going to do is go to the toolbar here and select a frame all right so we're going to select the iphone 13 mini then i'm going to title this splash screen All right, so I'm just going to take this two thing here. Then I'm going to change the color here. Color of the screen, I'm just going to take the color picker and pick this color here. So this is the color code that I'm using. You can just copy it. Now, let's get right into business. What I did was to type T on my keyboard and type ND. So I went ahead to increase the font to 64. And I make sure that this um, line height is on auto. So after doing that, what next I did was to right click on my mouse and flatten this. Then I started playing around with it. So when I flattened it, I then double clicked on it. And I, I selected this two, this two, and I moved it. Mm -hmm. okay so we have a shape now the next thing i did was to manipulate this end but once you've right click it to be on an edit mode another thing you can do is to move the this text on its own you can keep it here you know just come up with something creative okay i think we can leave it here And now we have a different type of logo then i'm going to increase it a bit i'm going i'm holding on to shift key and i'm increasing it a bit i'm just going to align this to the middle take it up a bit and here you have it then i just put in my test here the test i used here were team avina 24 and i chose median the line height here is 36 and for this other one i also left the line height at auto but the letter spacing i gave it a minus one and the font is 16 and this is the font color so for my call to action button i typed t on my keyboard i clicked on t on my keyboard and i typed get started so what i'm going to do is to add an auto layout on this text by clicking shift a on my keyboard and i am going to add a few color go here click the plus sign and then use the color picker and pick the color but you can copy out the color here so i went to this horizontal this padding this auto layout section here and i went to the horizontal padding i'm going to add a padding of 32 for it 32 then the vertical padding i'm going to add a 16 or we can also increase it to a 48 all right we're getting there i think this is great i just went ahead to also add around the corner radius to be 100. so next thing i did this font here i'm going to increase it the get started font i'm going to increase it to a 20 and i'm going to increase the weight to heavy so I'm going to go ahead and click, right click on my mouse, go to plugins and go to hero icons because I want to get this icon here. This is the icon. Then I'm going to chuck it in here. I'm going to make sure that this other space here, this is the horizontal gap between items space here. I'm going to leave it at eight and I'm going to go ahead to change the color of that icon to white. And I'm going to center align this then i'm going to center align this to make sure the spacing between this and this one i'm going to click on this hold on to my shift click on the next item and give it the spacing of let's say around it's seven looks good all 
now let's give the spacing around 92 all right then between this and this let's give the spacing of 80 here so let's let's align this proper i'm going to select this to click auto layout and then give it a spacing of up to 120 for the second one i'm going to select why selecting this one i'm going to select the cut action button and give it a spacing of 80. i'm going to make sure this is aligned properly and yes this is simply what we have thank you for being here if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much this is my face and if you have any design challenge you can send me a dm on instagram at pamela the designer you can also follow me on tiktok on pamela the designer share this video encourage me to continue making this ui videos for you thank you and see you next class